welcome to the Picky Eater channel. I am Tony and I am the Picky Eater. Yeah, I'm a grown man that eats like a three-year-old. So the recipe today is very befitting. Hot dogs, that's definitely on the menu. Uh, maybe some Picky Eaters would be like, ooh, gross, I don't know what's in it. But for me, it's just been a staple since I was a kid. So definitely. Now, I live on the East Coast. I live in North Carolina on the Outer Banks, North Carolina. It's wonderful to live on the coast, but the thing is, I miss some of the things from where I grew up in San Diego, California. Man, the food's there. We're talking about Mexican food, even just the, the fast food, like you know, Del Taco, Jack in the Box. And Wiener Schnitzel is one of those places that I truly, truly miss. Now, they, for a while, were selling their Wiener Schnitzel chili online, and you could buy it by the can. And then they stopped doing that. Now they're only selling it. Uh, by the can in the store so you actually got to go into a store well that doesn't do me any good but my mom still lives there so mom was nice enough to send me a few cans of it today we're gonna do some blackstone griddle split fried hot dogs with wiener schnitzel chili might even add some bacon into this one now i have been using the blackstone a lot i mean it's like everything that i cook now i'm like why don't i just take it outside to the blackstone hopefully i have enough gas this time because, well, unfortunately, I, I forgot to go grab a couple of little cans. I'm going to have to go. I have the 17-inch. I'm going to have to go get one of those connectors and the, uh, the the blue rhino thing. That'll be much better. But until then, uh, until I can get those connectors, I guess I'm stuck with these little canisters. So hopefully I got enough. So this is going to be an easy one today. Let's go ahead and get at it. I've got my trusty dollar store caddy here. Yeah, pick that up at the dollar store. And we've got the tools here. And I've got my scraper where over here, right? Got some regular paper towels, some blue paper towels. Got my oil right here and some water. And of course, oh yes, Wiener Schnitzel chili sauce. Man, this is the best hot dog sauce. Well, look, maybe it isn't, but for me, it is because, well, I can't normally get it. Gotta have my mom go to a Wiener Schnitzel, get it, and then mail it to me. So it gets pretty pricey. Wiener Schnitzel, please put this on your website. And what I'm gonna do for cooking that is I'm just gonna drop this right onto the the cooktop there, so that'll do that. And then inside of this container, I've got hot dogs. These ones I spiraled, and then these ones I split right down the center. I've got a couple of pieces of bacon that are pre-cooked, so I can just put those on there to finish them off. Now, one thing I did notice with the 17 inch is, yeah, I've already got a thin cut of oil on there, is that for starting them, you gotta press it in and let it go for a second, turn it a little bit, get that gas going, and then, and there we go. All right, good to go. All right, I've already got the chili inside the pan and that might take a little while to go, so I'm just gonna let that sit over there in the corner. And like I say, hopefully I have enough gas, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these dogs on here. I've got this thing seasoned pretty well. I've only used water on it if I put something like teriyaki sauce on there or something that's gonna really get stuck on there. And I only do it when it's super hot and then I get that water off of here immediately, get it over into this and scrape off all the bits and stuff that I can scrape off of there. Other than that, that's really all I gotta do with this thing. Wipe it down afterwards real good, and then wipe a thin coat of oil on there, burn it until it stops smoking, and then turn it off, let it cool, put a little thin coat on there, and well, that's it. Now I will go to get the bacon press because I need to flatten some of these ones that I'm gonna split. But these two right here, I just basically gave them a little spiral cut, put it on a plate, took the knife at one end and spun the hot dog and got it spiral cut. Those are fun. All right, so we got those. Then these, now I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the heat a little bit. They don't need to be scorched earth right off the bat because I also wanna cook that chili. Same time, I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over. Open them up like that. All right, there we go. May or may not need the bacon press. So basically, we get all that meat on the inside cooked up, and we get the outside cooked up, which is great. Ooh, that's good. Nice there's one there. Like I said, this isn't going to be a very complicated one, and it won't take a whole lot of time to do this. I'm going to go ahead and stir this up. Chili's actually cooking nicely here. Yeah, just, a, just a cooktop, man. In fact, I might have to take this off of here shortly. Luckily, the handle's not too hot right now. I can't really see it, but yeah, it's cooking up good. See, when these cook up like this, man, oh, that is nice. I said I don't have to cook it too hot. Chili looks like it's getting there, so that's good. Yeah, that looks like it's getting there. Gotta say, I'm really glad that I got these tools, though, because had I not gotten these tools, it just it makes everything a lot harder. 
and spin your hot dogs around here and all that. But yeah, I mean, these tools are great. Totally worth it. I did buy a cover for this, like a carry bag and cover. So yeah, I'm gonna use that. Turn that heat up just a little bit. Oh, that looks good. See, the key is, I like my hot dogs, quote, burnt, but, you know, if you can get them golden brown without burning them, that's actually pretty nice, too. Now, of course, I'm also going to be using cheese. Come on, you got to use cheese. And these hot dogs, in case you're wondering, are skinless Nathan. Uh, it's what was on sale at the store, and that's what I picked up. I don't really have too much of a preference. For a while, I was all about the Hebrew National, but I don't know. So this is what I was talking about, this Blackstone 17-inch tabletop griddle cover and carry bag. Works out perfectly and looking forward to that. Alright, got a little crispy there on the ends of these here, but hey, that's okay. I'm going to finish those off, get these things off to the side over here, and we'll just push all those back there. Let them do their thing back there. Also, the chili is done here, and ooh, that is hot now. So what we're gonna do is use this here towel. I'm gonna pick it up, and I'm gonna put it on top of a couple pot holders over here. Actually, I just decided these are done, all right? So I think these are ready to be taken off of here. They look great. See, now look at these spiral ones here. Let's right, pull this one off of here. See, it's really, really good, and it just kind of splits open. You know it is done, oh yeah. Well, these hot dogs are all curved up, but no problem because once you put them in a bun, you will straighten them right out. Kind of hard to avoid that when you split them like that, but they're just so good when you do that. Hmm. Okay, so I decided not to wrap it around the hot dogs. While it might be a nice visual and all that, I decided to just go ahead and toss it right here on the griddle. We'll finish it off this way. I had already pre-cooked it. All right, now that the bacon is done, all right. Nice and blackened up there. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of cleanup here. Always best to do it when it's still hot and right after you're done cooking. Just letting it burn some of that off. And what I'm going to do now is there's a lot of oil that gets stuck up here in the corners. I'm going to just take that and wipe it across. I find that using the scraper is, uh, is better than using the tongs, most of the time. Because you can actually get into the crevices, corners and all of that. Well, she's almost clean already. Fresh paper towel. I'm getting in there and I'm getting into all the corners of it. Wiping those out into the center. And this guy is real hot right now. And I also clean out the trap hole there. And that's pretty much about it. Alright, I'm going to let that go until it stops smoking. I probably won't even need to put any other oil on it. If you're cooking stuff like bacon and stuff on there, it's perfect for you. You almost don't even need to worry about cleaning it too much. And of course, you are going to leave some of the, you know, there's stuff, that's what the seasoning is. It's on there. As long as there's no actual food stuff left on it, you're good. Let that go until it stops smoking. Which gives me time to bring all this inside and uh, do a little bit of cleanup while that's finishing up. Well, darn it, I almost forgot. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil on here. This is one of my blue towels here and I'm just gonna wipe that around a little bit. Just don't want this to be too dry. Cause you know what I forgot? I forgot about my buns, man. You can't forget about your buns. You can't forget about your buns. I'm not doing anything special, man. These are just regular old hot dog buns, and they probably just melted the bag there. Yeah, just a little bit. Gotta be careful around a hot griddle. I'm gonna take that heat down a little bit. Jet noise, the sound of freedom. I'm just gonna take these, break them up, and put them on there. Uh, hopefully that's down low enough, and I probably will have to clean this up a little bit after this, but I'm just gonna cook up four hot dog buns for right now. Super simple, you know, just make sure you keep your eye on them. But they'll toast up pretty quick. Okay, turn it way down, and then we'll get these guys off of here. Perfectly crispy. 
nice and crispy. All right, so I'm just gonna clean it up again. Now we have dry goods on here. Scrape off the particles. Put them over here in the trap. Get that wipe out around here. And you can also use this to help get the stuff over to the trap if you want to. All right, so now I will let that smoke off of there and then I'll probably still put a thin coat of oil on it after it is done with that. But there we go. Now we got it. So there you have it. It's not a complicated thing, but I, I love a good chili dog and I really miss my food in San Diego. This is just one of them. Maybe I'll be preparing some of those other foods that I miss from San Diego, but this particular one, I could get the chili and I was like, oh man, I gotta get it. And then I found out I had to get my mom to order it. Please, Wiener Schnitzel, carry the chili on your website. Make everybody happy. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go mix one of these up inside and I'm gonna eat it. I want to thank you so much for your support here on the channel. Likes, comments, share, subscriptions, always very much appreciated. So if you like what you see, give that thumbs up. And if you have an idea of something that you want me to cook on the Blackstone, let me know that down in the comments and maybe we'll work something out. I've really been enjoying cooking on this thing and I've been cooking on it a lot. The only thing is when it's hot, you start sweating, even though it's kind of a crappy day out here and there's no sun. It's still hot in North Carolina, man. So with that, I bid you adieu and thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you next time on the Picky Eater Channel.